All right, y'all, welcome back to the vessel. Pretty, that's me, baby. That's me, baby. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I feel like this is gonna be a love read based off of the channel messages that I have. All right, but um, we're gonna start with those. Okay, so your name could be Jenna or the person that you're dealing with. Their name could be Jenna, Jenny, Jennifer, something with a Jen, y'all, all right? Um, the first channel message I had is like something's like a Cinderella story, all right? Not the part where, I mean, you could have had, you know, a hard life when you've always been the star, all right? And, or siblings, you know, the Cinderella story, try to make you feel less than what you were, all right? Something like that, but it's an energy of where, where this is the person that you're dealing with. Somebody left the shoe for you to find them, all right? So she left the shoe for you to find her. He left the shoe for you to find him. It's like, I'ma leave the door open. Leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open. All right, so someone left the door open for you, okay? So if you're separated from somebody, this could be a past person, someone you already dealt with. It's like they left their shoe for you to find them. They left, you know, it's like a Prince Charming type of um, type of energy that you're dealing with or that you have. All right. Then you have Boomerang. All right. The song Boomerang by Jadea or something like that. Did I say that right? I don't know. Um, bang, bang, Boomerang. All right. It's like someone tried to leave and have you feeling a way. So it's like somebody tried to leave or walk out your life and it's like, oh, maybe you feel some type of way. Um, but it's like that energy backfired, okay? Um, because whoever did this, they left you and now they feel a certain way about you. Now they're starting to get feelings for you. It's like whoever left who in this situation, um, that person is now had the intentions of thinking, okay, this person will chase me, this person will be sprung on me, but it's actually the person who walked away, they're, they're sprung, they're, you know, looking back like, dang, I feel like I feel some type of way, two, 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 as I say that, all right, so someone definitely could be coming back for a reconciliation, but it's like an energy of where they don't know if they come back, if you're going to be happy or mad, all right, so somebody could be wanting to come back, but they don't know what your reaction is going to be. Because this person could have left, or this could be you. You want to get back to someone, but you don't know, you know, what their reaction is going to be. Take a resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have transformation. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. or have Scorpio in your chart, or something significant about this season, Scorpio season. There's a connection here, I feel like that's gonna transform or because you've transformed your life, it's like you're coming to light now as the new person that you are. All right, you have blessings and abundance. All right, so this transformation in your life, this transition is gonna bring a lot of blessings to your life. For some of you guys, it could be a child even. Somebody could be, um, going through a transformation from like male to female or female to male or something like that. Also, I think someone could be a pathologist. But yeah, your life is transforming for the better at this time. Or this connection, whatever this is, is transforming for the better. It's because you're doing the work. Do the work. Since it's like you've done the work within self to, to cause this transformation, now it's like you're attracting every other part of your life to transform as well. All right, you have angelic protection. Archangel Michael vibes. All right, and then you have compassion here. So I feel like this transformation has made you more loving, more nurturing. When I split the deck, I see to expect miracles. So there's something definitely miraculous that's going on here. Pay attention to your, um, your downloads, what you're getting from spirit, your intuition. I see a lot of yellow here too, like um, solar plexus acti or activation. If you've been feeling unmotivated to like create or you haven't been in this um, creative energy, you could be an entrepreneur or a motivational speaker. You get a lot of attention with whatever you do for work. I feel like you're going to feel motivated going back to work again. 
Maybe you needed a break to just focus on the work of self. But whatever blessings coming in here, it's definitely protected. I feel like throat chakra, somebody may need to express themselves more, whether this is you or the other person. Somebody could be working on communication. Right, the magician you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo I feel like it's important to know during this transformation that you have everything that you need to bring in this blessing whatever you're hoping or wishing for it's like somebody could be fearful of whatever's coming in but it's like you've done the work to receive this it's like whatever's coming in for you you're manifesting this you built this from the ground up you built this with your own hands all right you're co-creating with the universe to bring in your manifestation at this time it's like you could have even prayed to better yourself. And and now that you have, now that you've done the work on self, it's like a lot is coming towards you. Okay, so somebody, you know, why is, it, why is the three of swords here? I feel like somebody's healing from some type of ending. There was some type of ending here that could have left you feeling abandoned or neglected, or these are what you're healing from, abandon, abandonment. Um and neglect this could have made you feel like you always needed to have options in love three of swords I feel like you're transforming from this place of where you feel like you've only ever received heartbreak but you're not going to receive that this time you're going to receive a blessing and I also feel like you're recognizing how a lot of the things that you know could have happened you know, even the heartbreak, some things you could have manifested into your energy just by, you know, the ways of thinking, the ways of moving. It's like you've analyzed yourself and how you could have accountability, how you could have taken part in some of these heartbreaking things. But you have justice here. There's going to be justice for whatever was meant to break you actually created a new identity for yourself, a new world, the world card at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra with the justice card here. Or this could be a situation that you have within the justice system. If you're worried about what's going to happen at a court date or within the justice system or a past court date. I feel like you're going to, you know, everything's going to be okay with doing the work. Maybe you have to submit some documents. Yes, with the sun card at the bottom. Okay, and then the moon. Okay, it's like you had to do the work to get yourself out of this dark night of the soul. Maybe you had some, you know, trust issues going on here. Because you're going from the moon to the sun. So you're going from the dark to the light. If you felt like you were in a very dark place, you're going from the dark to the light. I'm also getting an energy of where, like, somebody who hasn't seen the light in a while, somebody could be getting out of jail soon. Something about, um... A change in jurisdiction but the Emperor here you could be receiving a new job or getting a new job offer changing yeah a new job offer changing the work that you do where you're gonna actually get reciprocated for the work that you put in but there's a whole lot of stability coming towards you the Emperor here that's boss energy it's like the angelic protection you are the angel the lovers at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, I feel like, is definitely representing there's going to be an ending to some type of court case or some type of way of thinking. The energy of feeling like, you know, broken hearted girl. I don't want to be no broken hearted girl. No, no. All right, or man, or whatever this is, and you're not going to be. I'm getting like that cycle's over, you're about to be blessed. This is your receiving season. Ace of Wands, there's going to be a new energy, a new beginning here. There's a huge manifestation coming in for you. All right, for some of you guys, this has to do with love or, or doing some type of job that you love to do. Some of you guys are dealing with the, definitely dealing with the Gemini. What did I say? I see um, Aries, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Virgo. 
are the signs I see right now. Scorpio. A lot of fire energy. Yeah, as soon as something ends or as soon as something's over, okay, you could be releasing a heartbreak or healing from one or a third party, whatever this is, a heartbreaking situation. Something quick comes in for you. For some of you guys, this is definitely a new job. This could be a job in the justice system. It's going to come in fast. This could, this could require you to travel. Yeah, three of cups, reconciliation. So somebody could be traveling to come reconcile with you, or you're just going to be celebrating soon. I feel like the spirit realm is celebrating you, you know, releasing a lot of things, letting go, and getting through this dark night of the soul. Yeah, this is something that you're worried about, nine of swords. You're worried about this transition to this new place, this new world, or this new relationship. We got 10 minutes. Yeah, but the the um the wheel at the bottom of the deck, some type of life cycle, like I said, I feel like it's the illusions, the moon cards here of fear and hurt. That that cycle's over. You see how she's releasing that with the black here? And you're gonna be receiving more of the light. It's like you had to go into um hermit energy. You had to spend some time isolated or alone in order to discover what you really wanted or discover these new things about yourself. Or in order to do the work, do a certain amount of healing. And now something's quickly about to take off or come in for you. King of Cups energy. This could be somebody that you have kids with or somebody that sees you. Yeah, Ace of Cups or somebody that sees you as um, a father or mother. They think you would be a good father or mother. All right, somebody's definitely thought about having kids with you. All right, but someone could have been struggling financially as well. Or it's like somebody didn't have enough emotional, somebody could have been unmotion, emotionally unavailable. A six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Or maybe you just weren't in an energy to receive love, but whatever this is, it's going to be very successful. You're going to gain the victory within this. Yeah. That energy of fear, feeling trapped, feeling bound, that's going to be canceled out. That's going to be over. Yeah, you're transitioning from that. And I feel like you're going to find a new love for yourself or within this connection, this person that's coming in or this new job. Yeah, this is somebody that will fight for you. This is somebody that will fight for you. This is somebody that will make you so, so happy. What's that song by Beyonce? I need a soldier. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles. All right, so some of you guys could expect a message from this person here soon, like I said, about stability or like I said, a new job. But if this is a job or relationship or all of them, because we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, this could be both. The Two of Cups, whatever it is, you're going to love it, and it's going to love you back. And it's going to love you back. Some of you guys had a choice to make between two people, or this is the other person. What was that song? I chose you. All right, somebody chooses you. Somebody's manifesting you, but they had to end something. They had to go through, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles right here. Somebody feels like if they don't come in, they're going to miss this opportunity with you for this new beginning. There's a lot of passion here. And I feel like somebody, yeah, a lot of passion here, Queen of Wands. Somebody's very attracted to you and they want this stable opportunity. They want to offer you this job, this internship, or they just want to offer you a stable relationship. This definitely could have been a past person that you could have had some type of, you know, codependent sees with or, or toxic toxic connection with but somebody wants to transform that yeah oh they're coming they've done a certain amount of healing someone could be focused on their work right now but they're coming to you baby yep ten of cups you're their wish fulfillment you're their everything somebody even thinks about proposing to you or like i said giving you a seed honey a baby okay but right now this person's trying to i feel like with the five of swords yeah, they're trying to figure out some type of, um, it's like somebody could have had a Ten of Pentacles somewhere else and they realized they wanted it with you. All right? Yeah. They wanted it with you. You're their empress. All right. Or this person could have been hiding the fact they had some type of family issues going on. Whatever this is. If somebody wants to take a new beginning. They feel like you, you know, you give to them, they'll give to you or what, whatever this is here. Somebody wants to transform the situation. They see this as a blessing. They see this as a blessing and they want to protect it. Somebody don't want to miss their opportunity. 
It backfired on them, y'all. All right. But it's like in a good way because now they're like, oh, shoot, I'm coming back. I'm the boomerang that's coming back. <laughs> All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you resonate. If you don't resonate, then maybe the next room will be for you.